गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स yesterday i have explained two properties of whole numbers closure property and commutative property today i will explain associative property and distributive property of whole numbers associative property let us see examples of addition here 2 plus 3 plus 4 2 plus 3 is in bracket according to board mass rule number in the bracket will calculate first therefore 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 then 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 now the next line the numbers are same only brackets are interchanged so numbers in the bracket are 3 plus 4 is 7 therefore 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 even after the brackets interchanged the values remain same therefore we can write 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4 only brackets are interchanged and values remain same therefore we can write a plus b b plus c is equal to a plus bracket b b plus c here a b and c are any whole numbers therefore we can say addition is associative this property of all numbers are called associative property next examples of multiplication here 5 into 2 into 4 the number in the brackets will multiply first 10 into 4 is equal to 40 similarly here numbers remain same only brackets interchanged so number in the bracket will multiply by first 2 into 4 is equal to 8 8 into 5 40 therefore the values are same so we can write bracket 5 into 2 into 4 is equal to 5 into in bracket 2 into 4 the values are same so we can write in bracket a into b multiply by c is equal to a into in bracket b multiply by c therefore here a b c are any whole numbers therefore we can say multiplication is associative next examples of subtraction in bracket 8 minus 2 minus 2 so in bracket 8 minus 2 it will operate first 8 minus 2 is 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 the next line the numbers are same only brackets interchanged in bracket 2 minus 2 is 0 therefore 8 minus 0 is equal to 8 so even after the brackets interchanged and numbers are same the values are different so we can say in bracket 8 minus 2 minus 2 not is equal to 8 minus in bracket 2 minus 2 therefore subtraction is not associative next examples of division in bracket 16 divided by 4 divided by 2 16 divided by 4 is 4 then 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 and the next line the numbers are same only brackets are interchanged 16 divided in bracket 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 then 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8 here these two values are not equal so we can say division is not associative next property is distributivity of multiplication over addition the purpose of this property is to make our calculation easier distributive property of multiplication over addition if a b and c are whole numbers then a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c here a is distributed among b and c a into b plus a into c example find 12 into 35 using distributive property solution 12 into 35 is equal to 12 into we can write 30 as uh, 35 as 30 plus 5 therefore 12 into in bracket 30 plus 
According to distributive property, we can write 12 into 30 plus 12 into 5. Here 12 is distributed among 30 and 5. 12 into 30 plus 12 into 5. Therefore 12 into 30 is equal to 360 plus 12 into 5 is equal to 60. 360 plus 60 is equal to 420. Let's see one real life example for distributive property. The school canteen charges rupees 20 for lunch and rupees 4 for milk for each day. How much money do you spend in 5 days on these things? We have to find the cost for 5 days. In the question it is given cost of lunch for 1 day is equal to rupees 20 and cost of milk for 1 day is equal to rupees 4. Therefore, cost of lunch plus milk for one day is equal to 20 plus 4. To find the cost for 5, day, five days, we have to multiply the cost of one day with 5. Therefore, 5 multiplied by 20 plus 4. By distributive property, we can write 5 multiplied by 20 plus 5 multiplied by 4. 5 multiplied by 20 is equal to 100 plus 5 into 4 is 20. Therefore, 100 plus 20 is equal to rupees 120. Identity for addition. Let us see some examples where 0 is added to whole numbers. Here, 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. 17 plus 0 is equal to 17. 0 plus 56 is equal to 56. 0 plus 32 is equal to 32. By adding 0 to any of the whole number, we are getting the same numbers. When we add 0 to any whole number, number remains unchanged. Therefore, 0 is called an identity for addition of whole numbers or additive identity for whole numbers. 0 is called additive identity for whole numbers. Next is identity for multiplication. In this, 1 is multiplied with the different whole numbers. First, 3 into 1, 3. 44 into 1, 44. 1 into 57, 57. 1 into 800, 800. In this, by multiplying 1 with any of the whole number, the, we are getting the same number. A number remains unchanged when multiplied by 1. Therefore, 1 is the identity for multiplication of whole numbers or 1 is the multiplicative identity for whole numbers. Today, we have discussed about associative property and distributive property for multiplication over addition. And with example, we have discussed 0 is the additive identity for whole numbers and 1 is the multiplicative identity for whole numbers. For detailed videos and textbook, please log in into the links of Diksha and Extra Maths.